A branch of United Health Group hit by a cyber attack impacting pharmacies across the country. Now, the company says it was carried out by a suspected nation state uh, associated actor. This comes as top government f officials warn about efforts underway in China and Russia to disrupt critical U.S. infrastructure. National correspondent Atra El Nashar has the latest. Critical services in the U.S. disrupted for a second time this week. United Health Group's subsidiary, Change Healthcare, which processes prescriptions for pharmacies across the country, was hacked by a suspected nation state associated cybersecurity threat actor, according to a company report filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission Wednesday. Pharmacies impacted include CVS locations and military health facilities like Naval Hospital Camp Pendleton. Center for Strategic and International Studies researcher Jim Lewis. The people who do this, it's a business for them. They're just in it for the money. It could be a state, but usually it's a criminal group. Usually it's Russian. According to the center's active list of cyber incidents, in January alone, Russian hackers launched attacks against the governments of Sweden and Australia and residential webcams in the capital of Ukraine. Criminal hackers usually seek a ransom payment. Then there's state-sponsored cyber attacks by Russia or China that U.S. officials warn aim to disrupt critical infrastructure. It's why an AT&T outage this week raised alarm bells, though it was later confirmed to be caused by a software update. Would adversaries or bad actors be paying attention to the AT&T outage to look for vulnerabilities? Telecom, like healthcare, is a primary target for hackers. We know it gets tremendous attention from the Russians, the Chinese, maybe the Iranians. Um, and yeah, they're going to look and say, how did that happen? Could I duplicate it in the event of a crisis? Russia believed to be developing an anti-satellite nuclear weapon for outer space. And the FBI says China's hacking program is bigger than any other major nation combined. Cyber threats to our critical infrastructure represent real-world threats to our physical safety. The government urging companies to bolster their cyber defenses to avoid a worst-case scenario that would cut Americans off from critical services. In Washington, I'm Atrel Nashar reporting.